jingle bells swing and jingle bells ring. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I haven't been vlogging too much, you guys, but it's just been crazy, like, so crazy. I've been having so much to do, like, Christmas is already next week, and mine and Luis's anniversary is this coming weekend, so I've been doing stuff for that, and then I've just been cooking and working, and I'm just so busy. So I'm sorry that I haven't been able to post any new videos, but I will be posting them, like I said, before I have so many vlogs. I just don't have time to edit them, but anyway, here I am. I'm going to like throw in a quick little glimpse of what I'm cooking. I'm actually making some chile rojo, which is actually really good if you don't know what to make for your family's party. Like if it's like a potluck or something. Um, it feeds a lot of people and it's just so good. It's like one of my family favorites. Anyway, what it is, is um, some pork in red chile sauce. And I'm going to just show you guys how we make it. And you guys, just to let you know, <laughs> yesterday when I went to the carniceria, I actually bought the wrong carne. Like, I bought beef stew instead of pork, and I don't know, it was just, it's, I'm telling y'all, it's been really, really busy. I don't even notice what the hell I'd be, I'd be doing. But anyway, yeah, so I bought beef stew, and I mean, I'm just going to make it regardless in Chile Rojo. Hopefully it comes out good, because I've never had it with beef. I always have it with just pork. So, yeah. And I actually had gone to Walmart, and I was like, okay, well, I don't know if that's going to be enough. So I even bought some freaking more pork, because I was like, okay, well that way we have enough but it was the wrong thing so we're just gonna make it work guys let me just show you what i have in the stove okay guys so here is the main uh dish so i have it in like a medium-sized pan i threw in some water at the bottom so it cooks a little better and this is actually supposed to be pork but i bought the wrong meat so i was like i'm not gonna let it go to waste obviously so i'm just gonna use this i think this is like two pounds if i'm not mistaken but anyway that's what it looks like and I'm actually gonna put this down so that cooks too uh, and I'm about to cover it I just wanted to show you guys too oh. yeah. and then back here I have my chiles um, boiling I actually just turned off the, fire, um, the flame but I have a mixture of chile guajillo chile um, I think it's japonés chile, no, chile de arbol and then also some chile colorado so it's a mixture of three different chiles um that are dried up already you can find them in a little bag or like your local like carniceria they usually have like little um containers full of fresh ones if they're fresh i don't know <laughs> what the heck they are but then i've also added in some onion and some garlic like just pieces depending on how much you make uh this is a good amount i mean it's that big oh <laughs> this is why i can't do multiple things at the same time but anyway that's what it is and here i forgot to mention i actually put in some bay leaves which in spanish is uh, laurel it just i feel like it adds a really good flavor especially with this um particular meal because it's so spiced it just uh evens out the spices in the recipe if that makes sense so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just let this cook for a little bit I'm gonna cover it up, and then i will show you guys what it looks like in a little bit now that the chiles are done boiling i actually put them on like inside my blender with a little bit of water in there i might actually end up adding more water because it is a lot of chiles but before you end up blending it, I'm going to show you guys what I do, like, for the spices. Um, I basically just mince them. Let me show you. Okay, so before we put this inside of the chiles in the blender, this is what I do, like, for the spices. So basically, I put four uh, fresh garlic cloves. I actually do add some consomate, which is this. And then I add in a little bit of salt to the bottom. Um... Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do first, and then I'm going to go ahead and add oregano, clavo, and some comino. Uh, and this is what that looks like. It's just a mixture of all of those together. And then I have some regular hot water. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start mixing these up together. And it just adds a really good flavor to your salsa whenever it's in molcajete. I don't know why, but <laughs> anything that has to do with molcajete, with the molcajete, uh, which, by the way, in molcajete is this. It looks like that. You can find this at your local flea market <laughs> or I got a carniceria, which is a Mexican meat market. So, yeah, let me just go ahead. But anyway, like I said, like anything that has to do with the molcajete, for some reason, it just adds so much more flavor to your food. It just tastes more authentic. You know what I mean? More Mexicana. <laughs> Does that make sense? But anyway, yeah, you're gonna bring this up like it's just a little piece like that you're gonna go in 
now and you're gonna go ahead and add your, your spices now you're just gonna mix all of these together now what you're gonna do to this is to make it easier to add into the blender you're gonna add some water and you're just gonna go ahead and take that off and then i actually also add water to this because why not Side, and now I'm gonna go ahead and take all of that out. I wish you guys could smell it, it smells so freaking good. So, this is what it looks like it kind of looks like salsa, but it does not salsa. It's just all the spices mixed together. You're going to add to your chile, and this is basically what gives it the whole flavor. It just tastes, it smells so good. Okay, so now I have all my chilies and stuff in here in the blender, and I'm gonna go ahead and add. Well, we just mix in the morgajete. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in here. And we're gonna set this to the side. And now in here, we're gonna add a little bit more water. Add just some water. And we're gonna put the top on. We're gonna go ahead and turn this on. And then at first, I like to do this because it like really slows the process. And then I go in. Very thick. Okay, now that you've watched this because you don't want to cross contaminate, this is what I was using earlier on this too. Um, you're going to go ahead and, you know, mix a little bit. The carne is already ready. I do like it to be a little bit overcooked because I don't like undercooked meat. That's why I don't eat a lot of steak. <laughs> I, don't, I know it's weird, but that's just it. So anyway, I'm going to mix it a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour our sauce in. And here, this is called, or in my house, we call it a colador. I don't know what you guys call it, so let me know. But this is what it is. Basically, it's a strainer. But it's just has smaller holes. I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and dump this in here. And I'm going to show you guys what I do. Because if you look in the mixture, there's a lot of seeds. And honestly, like the seeds just aren't pleasant to eat. And I just don't want that. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and add this in here. Little by little. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then what I do here, I just... Move this a little bit, and then go like this. It makes the sauce get out of the strainer so much faster. washed it off because I didn't want the seeds in there. But anyway, now I'm just going to go ahead and go in, mix this all together. You guys, this is so freaking bomb. Like I wish you guys could smell it. It smells so good. Like I said, I'm going to like let you guys know how i like it like if it tastes too spicy i'll let y'all know but truthfully and honestly you guys like adding in all the spices makes such a difference and, like it makes it taste so much more authentic because whenever i first started making this i would literally just boil the meat uh, with some garlic and onion i think and then i would like boil the chile but the chile i wouldn't add the spices like i would literally just add like salt and pepper and it was good it was very simple but adding all these other spices you guys that you typically have in your house just makes it so much better and the whole um look i hit the thing like it really 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 adds a really authentic and good taste now i know why our grandmas used to do that <laughs> our grandmas our moms you know like look i hit it is key <laughs> to a good hispanic meal well mexican meal because i'm not sure if other regions use a little I don't even know if they have it to be honest. So if you're from a, re a different region, you're Hispanic, but you're not from Mexico, let me know if you guys use more cajetas or not. Because I know it's 
um, Mexican tradition, you know, but just let me know. Okay, I think that's enough mixing. So now I'm just going to go ahead and let this boil up so the carne can get the jugo of the chicken. And then right here, you guys, I'm, I don't know where my little thing is, so I'm just going to leave this in here. Oh, and by the way, I did take out the bay leaves because I don't want to eat leaves while I'm eating. This is what it looks like. And we're just going to go ahead and turn off the flame. And we're going to cover it up, but just so it could cook, right? And so it could just stay warm. And that is it, you guys. And that is it, you guys. I forgot to record an outro, like always. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time. And by the way, it was spicy, so I would, like, lower down the chiles. <laughs> but yeah.